Yeah, uh, theater rhythm. So the DLC for this week already preloaded on Sunday. It was like, yeah, it's ready to load up when the DLC day comes. And I'm like, oh, is that going to be Tuesday or Wednesday? We'll see if it's out now. If it's out tonight, what I'm going to... Well, either regardless of when it comes out, uh, I'm going to do both the first and second packs since I haven't touched them yet. And I'm excited to do the pack for this week. Because, uh, spoilers... It's Live Alive. We'll also finish 15's route tonight, at the very least. No. Looks like it's still the same, uh... Same pack. Alright. So it's not available yet. Again, I bought the, um... Okay, well, I gotta turn that down. So I have some more- I have some more songs unlocked because I've been doing multiplayer mode. Um... I have, um... I have the Deluxe Edition, as I mentioned multiple times, so all the DLC... is going to come out... like, automatically here, but it doesn't look like the first set is, uh, out yet. Or the second set. First set came with the game. It was the- the Saga set one. Alright then, we'll just do Series Quest tonight. We'll finish 15, then move on to maybe something short towards the end. Actually, you know what? Wait one second. I have to use the bathroom. <laughs> I should have done that one before I switched games. Give me one second. There we go. We're back. I was gone for, what, a minute? I don't know. My recording's all off now. <laughs> we have a song... Oh, no, 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 wait, I went, I went forward from here. Yeah, I did I did Somnus, because that was a, a standout song for me. So, no, no DLC yet. That'll be tomorrow, or Wednesday night, Thursday night, Thursday morning. I'll have to see. I figured they wouldn't, they wouldn't give it to us early. Um, they said Tuesdays, but... They also then have Wednesdays listed, so maybe that's just Jap the Japan-America time difference. We'll have to see. Uh, anyway, episode Ignis, the main theme. Hit en enemy weaknesses three or more times. Uh, let's fix our party here real quick. Gotta go with the, uh, the lobies here. Sephiroth, Yuffie, Ida, and Kefka. So I think I mentioned this last time, but I've been using this Odin that everyone's been passing around. It has experience plus 90% on it. So just playing a level gets you double experience while you have this thing equipped already. And then you could also like, use the eggs, too, to, to give you more. Anyway, I've been Jones. The only reason I didn't do Kirby all night tonight is because I've been Jones and I keep playing this game. Like, the con the rhythm bug hit me this weekend, and I'm just like, oh my god, I love this game so much. <laughs> like, there'll be times where I just suddenly get really into a game. Not even one that like I've like, I'm the one that I've been playing, one that I might look back on. But like right now, this game just like entered like an overdrive for me. So I I need to play it. <laughs> And honestly, I think I picked a good point in Kirby to stop in.
Ooh, that's a little tricky. Oh, completely bumped that one up. that up too. So I found out, well, I kind of knew this going in. I just didn't really look into it more. Uh, the diagonals in this game for these slide triggers, they're all fake. If you see a, an arrow pointing up left, up right, down right, or down left, you could hit either of the two directions, the cardinal directions instead. So for like a down left, you could hit down or left. You do not have to actually hit diagonally. Same goes for double inputs. So if you see two arrows pointing diagonally in any direction or in any any up it's hard to it's hard to explain if you see if you see ones if you see ones in two directions you could just hit the same two spots all the time and it works just the same like the apparently the big thing to do for high level play is to just always go left and right for, for diagonals, double diagonals, unless um unless it's like up left, down left, then you do up and down. But like a majority of them, you could just do left and right. There's there's only two where it's like you can't do left and right, and then only two where you can't do up and down. Flying R. I'm guessing this is the flying car theme. <laughs> Sometimes I talk and I feel like I sound so obnoxious. Like my own voice is is weird. But I'm also I'm also might have allergies right now. I don't know. Enemies deal double damage. 60% or higher critical rainbow. What am I doing? Why am I missing so many notes? That was terrible. I did. I, I mean, I did. I got a good score, but I was getting so many greats there. I saw a video that said there might. There's like an audio delay 
that makes this a little harder, especially when playing on TV. I might consider turning up the offset. Or rather, turning down the offset. And seeing if that makes this a little easier to manage. I, I, was, do I was testing with it in uh, handheld mode, and I didn't really notice that much of a difference. How can we back out? There's, there's no way of getting to the option. Wait, is there? Yeah, why? There we go. Here we go. BGM timing. TV mode. I'm gonna crank this down to the minimum, because this is by milliseconds, so this isn't a lot. It's, it's just a very small offset. See if this- see how well this works. This might make it easier for me to avoid getting greats and goods. I'm definitely, uh, I don't know if it might be a placebo, but I'm definitely seeming to hit them better now with the, uh, the note counters being a little quicker or earlier. Especially on the release. The release is usually like when I'm getting greats with good timing. Chaos Shrine in that song. That's interesting. Yeah, I definitely think I'm going to stick with the, the maximum uh, negative offset. It seems to uh, definitely help. It's weird because on, on handheld mode, I definitely couldn't feel that much of a difference. But here, it's, uh, it's a little, little more noticeable. Dance of Silver and Crimson. Defeat the boss Ifrit. 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 Iframes. I 
I got all the airships ready. I don't have to check those anymore. Bleh. 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 Most enemies have triple HP. This sounds like it's going to be a banger. Critical Charter bonus. So you get a Rhythmia bonus if you fill up the thing. So I was looking at footage of the original uh, Theater Rhythm because I was getting nostalgic for it. And man, there are a lot of little changes in that game compared to this one. A long one. Oh, I lost. Fuck. They should warn you if a stage is going to be, like, ass long. Damn. Can't sign for classes yet. You need that seat. Oh, shit. I was right at the end, too. That's a lot of bullshit. You get no experience if you fail. You get no experience. You get no, uh, no reward. You get nothing. You get a paltry amount of rhythmia, and that's it. That's a bit upsetting. Thankfully, it doesn't look like it uses the experience egg if you fail, so that's nice.
for two, right? Jesus. The end of that one got fucking hard. I don't even know if I used any of the items. But I did do better that time. That was a nightmare towards the end. Hellfire. Deal 8,000 or more damage. That's probably not happening. Fuck it. Full items. We're gonna bring one of everything. And I could do that Vinny voice too. I could do that sound as well. The meat sound. Not exactly like him, obviously, but an approximation, a cheap imitation. Summons deal double damage, nice. Odin's gonna deal double damage. Too bad it doesn't do double EXP. This song is, uh, terrifying.
Needs a Lamaze. Did I ever finish talking about Pokemon, or did you miss it? No, I didn't finish. I stopped at Pokemon Sleep. Sword and sh uh, not Sword and Shield. Uh, Scarlet and Violet stuff looks okay. The concept art looks intriguing. Uh, I'm curious about the stories of both of the DLC packs. I got Max a EXP, nice. Um, here's the problem, though. They didn't really show anything off from either of them. They just showed the concept, which they did with the Sword and Shield DLC as well. And the Sword and Shield DLC ended up being great. So I've got I've got hopes for it. I'm I'm okay with not knowing like the full story here as long as we get you know as long as we got something. Uh wait one second. Um The new Pokemon look okay. I'm assuming the turtle that I'm assuming that turtle is the is the, the big egg thing that we saw. Uh, in the in the Scarlet book, so I'm I'm curious to see. Here's the thing, though. They're called the it's called the Treasures of Area Zero. Yet neither of these DLCs take place in Paldea. One takes place in an entirely new area. Like both of them take place in an entirely new area. One of which is called Blueberry Academy, to go with U Uva and uh, and uh, what was Orange Academy? Naranja, Naranja Academy. Gilgamesh got an ability called Morphing Time. Naranja, Uva, and Blueberry. They're not even making... You know why? Because it's not in Paldea, so they don't ha They don't want to make it Spanish. They just want to call it uh, Blueberry Academy. Magna, Insomnia. Defeat the boss, Arden. Naranja. That's how I'm saying it. What's this Morphing Time do? Multiplies damage the user deals with physical abilities by 2.5 once you've earned enough criticals. Okay. Gotta roll the R's? No, there's only one R, though. I don't know where people are finding these good, these good summons. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess you need abilities to, to farm the good ones. You still have to roll it. Most, if not all, R's are rolled. Well, I can't. I can't roll. No roll. No rolling. Uh, there we go. Nara, naranha, naranha, nara, naranha. Fuck. that on just to be safe. <laughs> but yeah, I have faith in the DLCs. They're coming out later than the Sword and Shield one. Sword and Shield was summer and fall. This looks like it's going to be like end of year. So they're saving these to be like the Pokemon game of this year, which makes sense. And I will stream them when the time comes. You know why they don't want them releasing soon? Because of Zelda. They don't want. Pe they don't want to have to have anything compete with Zelda.
Oh my god, we're not even halfway through this. Got some news about the Blueberry Academy. What about it? I didn't really look into it. All I know is that the, the first DLC with the Japanese-inspired area is going to be um, based on the Momotaro legend. Like, the signature Pokemon in the art are all based off of characters from it. The two girl trainers in the background are supposed to be the Onis. And your character is supposed to be the Momotaro. is cool um, and as people pointed out too in the stands for that on that concept art there's like masks based on the four Pokemon that show up in that expansion but they look like Sentai masks like from like Super Sentai shows which is kind of weird because there was just a Sentai show in Japan that was also deemed around the Momotaro, called Don Brothers, which apparently a lot of people are saying really good things about. I'm gonna have to look into it, because people are saying it's like one of the best Sentai shows ever made. So it's a bit weird that, like, just so happens that <laughs> Pokemon's doing the exact same thing. A possible Sentai-themed Momotaro story. a marathon. It depends on where and what is being referred to. Blueberry in Spanish is literally just blueberry, but it's also arando, ar ar arando, aran sorry, I'm, I'm missing the end at the end there. Arandano, and more, and mora azula, a mora azul in some places as well. Manor says either of those and just uses the word blueberry. Ah, interesting. So blueberry in itself is a Spanish, like a Spanish loan word. That's cool. That school is in, a, in water, which is interesting. Main theme from Final Fantasy. Clear with a perfect chain. Yeah, probably won't happen. There is one more thing that they revealed during the direct, and that or during that the direct the Pokemon presents, and that was the uh, the Suicune and Verizion, or Verizion. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, paradox forms, which you can get now in the game. The 1.2 update does add them in. Uh, they're currently Terra Raid battles, 5 to 7 stars. I'm not a fan of them being only catchable through raid battles. The upside is that that means you could get Verizion in Scarlet and Suicune in, in Violet by just joining the opposite version's raids. But I'm not a huge fan of that because those Terra Raids are not easy. If you don't have like a perfectly raised Pokemon to, like, grind and catch that Pokemon when it's, like, five stars or higher, you're generally not going to do well. Because those raid mechanics really need everyone to be on their game. Otherwise, you just run out of time immediately.
turtle looks cute. Yeah, it does. a nice rendition of the main theme. I like 12's uh, version of the main theme that plays on the main menu. The turtle does look cute, and if that's actually what the um, what the shell thing oh my god, excuse me, I'm burping. If that's what the shell thing actually is in that in the Scarlet book, because that thing because if you look, the turtle has all the uh, all the types on its back, on the uh, like the grooves. Then uh, that's interesting. Well, I mean, that's also interesting because, you know, the Paradox Pokemon that the guy drew in the Scarlet Book end up not being correct. Because we've seen what we see with Paradox Suicune and Paradox Verizian look like now, and they look nothing like the versions that are drawn in the book. The book makes it looks like, looks like, the books make it, the book, yeah, that's two books, because the Scarlet and Violet book. The Scarlet and Violet books make it look like those two Pokemon were like combinations of all three of them. And it turns out that, uh, no, they're just mutated versions of that one Pokemon. Which is really funny, because you absolutely called that, and so did a lot of people. A lot of people were thinking that that would be the case. Okay, where's Noctis? I need him for the mission. There he is. Was it somebody else that drew those, though? Yeah. It was, like, the eyewitness account of who saw it. Again, though, I'm not huge on having to do raid battles for them. Like, I have no way... Like, I tried doing a five-star raid battle with it, and none of my Pokemon are good enough. CPUs aren't good enough, and if I join other people, then me getting knocked out immediately, like, screws all of them over. So it's like... This isn't easy. But I have a couple weeks. I'll probably get a Pokemon that's capable of surviving both fights. And, uh... Grind one out. Just send your Swampert out there. I don't know. Would that work? Sw uh, Paradox Suicune is Water Dragon. Paradox Verizian is Grass and Psychic. I did not know water was resistant to ice. <laughs> and now I do. Because I tried sending an ice type out against uh, Suicune because it had the dragon typing and it didn't work. Or rather, it wasn't effective. Oh, shit. What happened with my stick there? I wasn't cooperating.
What about Gudra? It can know Thunderbolt and Flamethrower. The problem is that hitting weaknesses isn't isn't good enough with the with with high star raid battles. You need a specific Pokemon with specific stats that has a good held item and good support moves. And not only that, but you need you need a good team too. Like you, the other players need to be pulling their weight. Otherwise, you're not going to do well. Yeah, essentially, you need like a you need an actual like good team. These raid battles don't fuck around. Title cleared. The other thing too is that you can't transfer any Pokemon over yet. Pokemon Go is still not a uh, not a thing for this game. Oh, it is kind of. You can now connect Pokemon Go to the game to send postcards over from it. Um, and that lets you get Virizion. Different, uh, not Virizion, lets you get different covers of Viv Viv Vivion in, uh, in, 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 in Scarlet and Violet. It also lets you catch the Gimme Ghoul that's just the small coin form and not the treasure chest form in, uh, in Go. But currently Pokemon Home does not work with, uh, with with uh, the, the Scarlet and Violet. We can Pokemon hold mail again? No, not exactly. You just send a postcard over that you got. Okay, what's short? Uh, Final Fantasy Type-0 is pretty short. Series is, sh series is 17. 10-2 is only 6. 10-2 and, um, and Type-0, the ones with the band songs, though. I really wanted them to back then to send mail to someone. Yeah, that would've been fun. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let me pull up that document. Band songs. No, no, not Type-0. It's just 10-2 Remake. I keep thinking Type-0 is one of them. FF Series has one of them. You had no one to play with, yeah. Yeah, it figures now that, now that there's Wi-Fi, of course you can't send mail now. But when there was no Wi-Fi, yeah, sure, sure you could type out a whole message. Ace Machina Rem Kudasami. Kurosaki. Ichigo Kurosaki. Final Fantasy Type A Zero. We have come. That's a bonus song from the first theater rhythm. All right. Well, I got four level ones or five level ones now. First, a captain specializes in physical abilities that inflict status ailments. Reliable boy can make his abilities easier to unleash. This ambitious boy specializes in magic that deals damage as a percentage of NB HP. An affectionate girl who could heal the party and cast powerful magic. The Ice Reaper with high magic who specializes in ice spells. Okay, well, we'll save. We'll keep Ariana. Or Arania for later. Ariana Grande. There, there was a f an official crossover with Ariana Grande at one point. She was in, like... What was it? Final Fantasy Brave Exvius? Like, she actually shows up in the game. And she's she's canonically part of Final Fantasy history. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy stuff. Just look up, look up Ariana Grande... Or, or Grande, sorry. Ariana Grande, uh, Final Fantasy. It's a real thing. These characters are all dressed up like Ruby characters. There's a show that kind of fell off for me. I actually did enjoy the first few seasons of that, and then I just haven't watched the last, like, two.
bad. I'm fine, really. There we go. Level 1 to 33 in, immediate, in, in a heartbeat. Now, they, now they're ready to take on better, uh, better missions. War. Warrior worth a thousand. Defeat eight or more enemies. Ah, messed up that last note. To get a treasure, though, so it's fine. It hits harder when you mess up at the very end. Plastic? Oh, because of the SpongeBob. The SpongeBob thing, and it sounded like the chorus chanting. Plastic! My voice is like very weird right now. I don't know why my voice sounds so off. Soar and the earth under our feet. Both look good. Clear with at least 60 HP, 60% HP, get 90% or higher good or better judgments. These both sound pretty easy. Cheese. Uh, yeah, it might be. It might, I, I've been eating a lot of dairy, but I don't know. I also felt sick today, but I don't now. I felt like I had allergies earlier, but it seems to have cleared up. I'm just not taking good care of my voice. I think that's the issue. It's 
like an epic version of the Chocobo theme. times. Forget the past. Kill the past. Let the past die. Red Mog shirt? Oh, look, it's got an M on it. M for Michael. That's me. It's, it's my shirt. Soar. M for McDonald's. And Odin, what does this have? Magic ability plus 10. Also, I found out I shouldn't be dropping these. I shouldn't be throwing any of these out because this could cause a save corruption glitch. Which I'm like, oh, cool, nice. A simple shirt and a fiery red. Looks okay, but I, I, I want to keep the Tonberry clothes. Nice. That's a triple S, right? 
Because I broke 9 million. Cards. Cards. War, the white weapon. Yeah, sure. Oh, it's only three? I thought it was later. Any kind of crisis quarry here. Wow, I really fucked up at the end there. I kept thinking those were doubles, and I was like, oh, wait a minute. Had to hit more rapidly. I missed, like, a ton at the very end. That's a ludicrous amount of damage that we'd have to deal. Tempus Finis. Clear without restoring HP. No one here has anything that restores HP, right? Oh no, Lance does. Okay, get rid of Lance. We don't need it.
Ooh, that's tricky. the fuck did I do wrong there? Holy shit. I totally ate shit towards the end of that. I'm sorry. I don't think that healing move would have helped me much there anyway. Because I thought I was almost done, so I was starting to like, get loose on it. Kind of sucks. There we go. Yeah, I think I messed up that one slide, and then I just messed up all the notes afterwards. And that was ultimately my downfall.
Ooh, five silver growth eggs. Nice. The game is pretty generous with the EXP up items, which is nice. Uh, it helps you, considering there's a hundred and something characters in this game, really helps you max them out quicker. Vermillion Fire. Deal 1,200 or more summon damage to one enemy. Oh, that's the Final Fantasy VI final boss right there. Also, summons only deal half as much damage. <laughs> Silver huevos for silver muscles. Alright, this is the last one for type 0, and then we've cleared this one. Terrible. Not amazing, but not terrible. The thing about this game is that unlike other rhythm games, your chain does not matter towards your score. The score, since the scores for every song are predetermined to be 9,999,999 at maximum, that means it's based entirely on how many notes you hit and how many of them are rainbow criticals or lower. I don't believe the chain matters all. Uh... At, at what the actual score is. Because if you miss the first note of the song, or you miss the last note of the song, or you miss a note in the middle, but every other note is the exact same every time, I think it's like the same score. Played 300 music stages, nice. It was okay, just okay apparently, yeah. It's like Rhythm Heaven. You did well, but just okay.
title cleared. We have come. I guess we should start, like, working our way up through these- these other ones. Quest completion's only at 23%, so that's a lot. What? No, I didn't mean to hit that. I was hoping that maybe the game updated at 3 a.m. Does it connect? No, I don't think it does. In before it's 3 p.m., yeah. Thing is, it won't tell me when the release date is. Alright, well, let's go in here and do the uh, two EMSs we unlocked, and then we'll figure out what to do from there. We have come. We have come. So I found that these EMSs, uh, other than the fact that they changed them for this game from the previous uh, Theater Rhythm games, this is actually how the battle battle scenes in Theater Rhythm Dragon Quest look. So this is literally just the Dragon Quest battle system, which is just the same thing but vertical. The offset on those is different. That might have been a little too weird. I don't know. I might drop it down by like five millimeters, milliseconds, excuse me. Five frames. Just to see if that does anything.
Apocalypse Noctis, which I've already done before. Oh, negative 15. Okay. Try to get to negative 10. Kind of weird to see cars and cell phones in Final Fantasy. Yet, you know, in 7 it's pretty commonplace. Zack has that flip phone. Super out of con yeah, like old cars though. Oh yeah, I get you. Like Final Fantasy seven and eight both had cars, but they were both like clearly like old style cars. They weren't really like new cars you'd see on the road today, as opposed to this game, which has. Like, very modernized-looking technology in cars. with the many camera angles game, yeah. To be honest, I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention to the background. That was ridiculously long for an, for an EMS. Normally the EMSs are the shorter ones. 123 greats, man, that wasn't good.
I can't tell if, if, if the offset's messing me up or not. Okay, wait, let me let me try something real quick. I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure that I don't need to like refresh the game to have to get the DLC. Cuz it's already loaded. It's just waiting for release day. Not that I have enough time to get through all the DLC that's available right now anyway. I could maybe do one pack tonight and then one tomorrow, but I kind of don't want to do that. I want to save that for when I finish the quests. Those are the more important things to do right now. Oh, you want you want to hear something really wild? I don't know if you if you know about this. There's uh, cup noodle Nissan cup noodles exists in Final Fantasy 15. Oh, my voice is echoing out of that can. Like the actual brand, like like it's like it's an actual like crossover, like marketing deal in fifteen, that Nissan cup noodles is just there. Okay, no, all right, it's not up. We'll f we'll figure out when it gets released, and then we'll uh, plan for the future around that. All right, so we get to, we can unlock something else. I'm kind of tired of jumping around here. Uh, and obviously we haven't finished 14 yet, but 14... Oh my god, why is this can... Why is this can pick my voice up from so far away? Stop. Stop. I'm gonna start putting my phone on top of my drink can. So we have 14 unfinished, but again, that's another 25 state... Uh, fuck you. But this can is pissing me off. I really hate how the can is, like, making noise. Stop it. You're an inanimate object. You're not allowed to make noise. Yeah, let's go, uh, let, let's do, let's do three. There's only two characters there. Onion Knight and Sid. Oyo Knight. Speedy Knight who can unleash abilities with ease and help party cover more ground in FMSs. FMSs. Airship Specialist lends a hand with defensive abilities and powerful strikes. Final Fantasy 3. So this game, this game is extre is an extreme oddity. Funyuns Night. <laughs> I would love to see that. So this game is an extreme oddity uh, for for a pretty pretty insignificant pretty significant reason. So if you remember uh, back in the day, the only three Final Fantasy games that came out in America were one, four, and six, and they were they were numbered one, two, and three in America. So 2, 3, and 5 never came out over here. Then when the PlayStation happened, leading up to Final Fantasy VII, or it might have been after Final Fantasy VII, I'm not sure, um, what they did was they released three compilation discs. One was Final Fantasy I and II, remade, which is what the GBA and modern editions of those two games are based off of, released in America, in English. Then there was a disc with... 5 and 6, which had, like, slightly enhanced versions of those. And then, instead of doing a remake of 3 with an enhanced version of 4, they did an enhanced version of 4 with a somewhat enhanced version of Chrono Trigger on another disc. So, they brought to the PlayStation 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, and Chrono Trigger. They did not bring Final Fantasy 3 over. 
And then after that, they brought Final Fantasy VII over, and then the numbering, you know, stuck after that point, and the numbering was right. But for the longest time, Final Fantasy III was not available in any way, shape, or form outside of Japan. The first version of Final Fantasy III that came overseas was the Nintendo DS version, the 3D remake that happened back in, like, the mid-2000s, mid-to-late 2000s, which then Final Fantasy IV got the same treatment. But yeah, 3, 3 was a game that did not come over here until quite a bit later than the other games. And we never got the original version of it, obviously. Not that we got the original versions of, of 2, either, so... It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Let's both these get these two up quickly. I should stop being stingy with the gold eggs. So yeah, this is kind of the uh, the Final Fantasy that Japan forgot, or that Square Enix forgot for a long time. But then Final Fantasy III ended up being an amazing, like, a bestseller, because it was such a big deal that the game finally came out overseas. So if you'll notice, a big difference between 3 soundtrack and 1 and 2 soundtrack is that it's not all left aligned in your ear. Like, like those two games, they always balance all the music to the left, and it's very mono sounding. This game uses a much more balanced and spread out, uh, like, sound quality. Which shows that, like, you know, Square Enix understood the hardware at this point. Hey, Sour Cream, how you doing? A woo! A woo, yep. <clears throat> the music in general is a lot higher quality. We are wooing, yeah. Real woo hours. Oh god, chat's devolving into woo-wooing. Do you hear that? It's like going from Gen 1 to Gen 2 Pokemon, and like how different the sound font is in that game. They use different uh, wave channels for, for Gen 2.
Ooh, I wasn't ready for that. Not bad. Almost got a perfect chain there. Wow, look at that. I got max EXP. Lots of awus. I don't know if I'm going to finish three tonight. We're, we're going to have to stop in like 20 minutes at the latest. Our lowest team level here is, is getting close to 60, so we're doing good. Tiny Awu, yes, I see it. Someone played FF4 and it was just hilarious. I like how the main character is a war criminal. <laughs> to be fair, there's a lot of war criminals in the Final Fantasy series. That's nothing new. Yeah, the Chocobo team doesn't trip. They, they jump... They do like a little, yeah, that. That's a night. Nice, want to see a cute emote? You did? Oh, you did an emote for who? For yourself? Oh no, Laffy fifty six coal. Oh, well, that's cute. It's a good emote. E the confuzzled emote. <laughs> yeah. a way to just equip the lowest level people in your party. Fifteen and, and spin-off characters now. To use the chocobos. There's only one. Again, this this works. There's a lot of changes from the old theater rhythms. The old field music stages from the old one had a section where you turn into a chocobo and run around for a bit. They they got rid of that in this version.
Chocobos can one-shot Sephiroth. Maybe. Maybe they could. Sephiroth's on my team now, so... The reason I'm not using Chocobos is because I already reached level 99 with him. that so my voice doesn't echo out of it so much. This was an EMS in the original theater rhythm. Yeah, if you want to see where Chocobo is, he's at the very top. Level 99 with Cloud, Barrett, and uh, Dencred. And he's got an A in Spirit. Can I showcase the... Well, here's the problem. I just don't want to wait, because I'm wasting time using the characters already 99. Because you do get stuff if you, re if you raise more characters up there. I'll put Chocobo in. I have to go re-enable this every time because collect a card magnet is never prioritized. <laughs> Triggers are judged a bit more harshly. Clear without restoring HP. Like a teacher chaperoning the students, yeah, kinda. That's specifically the Chocobo series Chocobo. So it's like the chibi one. And not just in this art style, I mean in general. Oh, excuse me. Again, the level 99 characters do earn experience, but you need, I think, like the same amount to go from 1 to 99 to go to 99 plus 1. And you can only go to 99 plus 9 at the highest. And honestly, you could just augment their abilities with uh, items instead, so... It's really not necessary. The RPG elements of this game are very unnecessary to enjoy it. It's only if you really want to grind everything possible. I 
it's 3.50, so we only have time for like one or two more songs. We're not going to beat three tonight, unfortunately. Tomorrow, assuming the DLC is out tomorrow, we'll finish the main story of Kirby. Uh, Return to Dreamland Deluxe. We'll do... We'll finish Final Fantasy III's story, and if the DLC for this week is out, I'll do both the first DLC pack and the second DLC pack. So we'll do the first Saga pack, and we'll do the Live Alive pack. And then Wednesday, probably more of the same, honestly. It was, that's probably going to be this whole week, Kirby and, and Theater to Rhythm. I don't know if I'm going to stream Thursday, but I will not be here Friday and Saturday. I messed up hard there. I got distracted by something on my phone. Pool toy tumby. I forgot I wanted to do the pool toy stream, but... I don't know if I if I can do it. <clears throat> I don't know if, if I'm if I'm able to pull that off in here. I did clean up some space in here, but I just don't know. Wow, I was riding on the edge for a long time there. Space, yes. No, I don't think this is space. Space is the end of four. There's a song at the end of four that sounds like Fart Step. You might, you might enjoy that one a lot when I get to it. egg if I defeat the boss. Kinda want the colorful egg. I'm 
pulling out the big guns for this one. <clears throat> Three clouds and, and a not cloud. Damn it. Did we take it out? I don't think we did. Fem Cloud, yeah. Wow, we did almost perfect there, too. Nah, it didn't count. Even though we all unleashed at the very same time. We all, like, unleashed our, our abilities at the end. I think we'd probably do one more. Ooh, this is from the, the DS version, I think. Alright, maybe two more. We'll see. Fuevo denied, yeah. note there. How was that? and I lost a lot of health at the end there.
Verb Stimpke? Yeah, maybe. I didn't shower. Actually, no, I did shower today. Crystal Tower has an amazing remix in uh, Final Fantasy XIV. All right, you know what? We'll finish the last song on this row and then I'll wrap it up. We have enough time to do one more. This will be the last song for tonight. messed up. Oof, I got a little rough. I did clear cl the quest, whatever that was. Defeat one or more bomb enemies, okay. We unlocked anything to do in the overworld or overworld. It's a weird way of putting it. One last check on the news here. No, all right. Again, I'm wondering when the when exactly the DLC drops. Images I got before I go. Bart's ject. Look at that deadbeat dad. The world world's best deadbeat dad. Shantoto. That's all of them, yeah. The CGI art is the only one you actually unlock. Everything else is already there. A bunch more profi cards now that I've gotten, and I've taken every single summon stone I can. <laughs> cool. Well, this was a uh, a good stream. Uh, I really want to keep starting early so I could do these longer because honestly, this is the only time I really play games to like finish them. But yeah, uh, this was fun. Thank you so much for coming. As always, I appreciate it. Um, if you want to watch more streams, check out twitch.tv slash team slash wildabandon. Uh, probably some people streaming there now. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's up to you to find out. 
Um, I'll be back tomorrow with probably the exact same stream, Kirby and Theater Rhythm. And if I stream Wednesday, still the same stream. And if I stream Thursday, again, it's probably going to be the same stream. We'll see. Unless something else drops, like, immediately that I need to stream, I'm probably just going to do four days of the same stuff this week. But yeah, thank you so much for coming. Uh, you all have a great evening. I will see you around. Take care. Hopefully my voice doesn't sound weird. As the week goes on. I don't know why I muted myself in the middle of that sentence. Hopefully my voice sound starts sounding better. But yeah, uh, take care. You all have a great evening. Good night.